Mount Forget About It. The world's last unconquered peak rises majestically above an unspoiled wilderness. Mountaineers have been trying to reach its summit for centuries, but scaling its icy face has proven to be a challenge. But still, it beckons, touching the hearts of courageous spirits like yourselves, eager adventurers, and thrill-hungry explorers. What do you say? Good. Let's get started. <laughs> With just a few basic necessities, you'll be ready to overcome any obstacle Mount Forget About It can throw at you. The lighter an explorer's load, the easier the climbing will be. It's a good idea to have a dedicated partner with whom you can trade off duties, should the going get rough. <laughs> You've reached base camp, a place to stop, take stock, and consider options for the journey ahead. While it may be true that a climber is only as good as his equipment, sometimes you actually have to use your head for more than just a hat rack. This is the time when your climbing buddy can truly be your best friend. The most basic tool in a mountaineer's kit is his coil of rope. Its usefulness in bringing the climber closer to his ultimate goal cannot be underestimated. The Mountaineer's motto, never give up, has a special meaning to some who seem never to know when to quit. But try, try, and try again, no matter how impossible the odds seem, man and nature as one, what could be more inspiring or more ridiculous? But the tenacious climber will be rewarded when he comes face to face with sights that the less rugged can only imagine. You cannot buy this type of feeling, and why would you want to? Another crest, another test, and an unexpected guest. Nature has gifted its most agile creatures with the tools to easily conquer what would condemn others to certain doom. Only fools would attempt to follow in the footsteps of these remarkable climbers. Without perfect balance, razor-sharp focus, and a finely tuned knowledge to expect the unexpected, it's sometimes best to look for smarter, safer options. Extreme cold fronts can move in without warning, dropping to sub-zero temperatures at a moment's notice. But a breath of that biting mountain air can provide an experience that cannot be matched anywhere on the planet. What causes these sudden shifts in climate and high elevation? 
Even the experts are baffled. <laughs> Driving rain, raging blizzards. To attempt to understand it would be to attempt to unravel the very mystery of nature itself. <laughs> okay, where were we? Sometimes, it's best to leave the big questions to the bigger minds and simply take cover in the safe havens nature has provided. At last, thanks to perseverance, patience, and a dash of dumb luck, you've made it. Well, almost. Adventurers, your world will never be the same. Each day that passes will leave you longing for another perilous adventure, because every explorer brings back with him a little something from the natural world that will stay with him forever. <laughs>
Hard work. Chow time. I'm an anteater. I eat ants. What's wrong with you people? They call this lunch tasteless protein pellets. This stuff is better for making sidewalks than for eating. Okay, people on your left, you'll see a fine specimen of nature's anteater, the aardvark. Well then, on your right is something very exciting. A brand new exhibit of extremely rare South African ants. I don't care if they're rare, over easy, or well done. That's an ant banquet. Oh, man, this is the light. Look at me. I am styling now. Just lounging by the pool with nothing to do but eat and sleep and sleep and eat. I think it's time to drop in on my new neighbor and borrow a cup of ants. Hey, look at that. Our new neighbor saying hello. Oh, somebody turned on the dock. My finely tuned ant sniffer tells me it's this way. Aha, you little delicacy. Whoa, maybe my finely tuned dog box sniffer needs a tuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are so sweet. So sweet, you make my teeth hurt. <laughs> hey, fellas, don't get your whiskers in a knot. I never knew bunnies had such impressive teeth. Help! Bunny is I need a key. Okay, I've think fast. <laughs> Maybe not that fast. <laughs>
And now for my reward, a delicious Saint Sandwich, Triple Decker. What? Who needs this many keys? It's this one. No, no, that one. no, no, this one. No, this one, no. It's time for a delicious ant sandwich. I had the keys. Now I don't have the keys. Now is this closed? Now I'm not closed. I'm tired. I'm doing. I'm hungry. Now just look at that guy. Look at him. He needs to calm down. Too bad he can't come over here and enjoy this food. I love this place. Yes, I do. With this, I can listen in on that ant's every move. That way, I can figure out the best way to catch him. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Uh-huh, yeah. It's him. Hey, and thanks for the invite to the party last night. It was a blast. You know me, I never say no to a party. What's this? He never says no to a party? Wait, I just had an absolutely perfect idea on how to catch that ant. Oh, really? What would that be? Well, the first thing is, Hey, wait a minute. Get off my coconut, you crazy ant. Ah, uh, come on, man. Give it up. What's the plan? I said hang up. Well, OK. But there's only one way to hang up a coconut. Man, what's up? Yeah, I'm just chilling. By the way, outside your anthill, there's an invitation to a really cool party. Later, dude. Oh, brother. Come celebrate the Advoc birthday. A happy time for one and all. Casual dress, easily digestible. Ah! A party for Art Vaki, huh? Why do I get the feeling I'll be the only guest in the appetizer? I can just hear him now. Hey, Ed, you know, you're the only person I need. Soup's on. You know, it's not the kind of party I usually go to, but I think I know of a way to make it my kind of party. I can't wait for my party snack to arrive. <laughs> It'll be the best and the tastiest present I've ever given myself. Party, party, party. Take your time, Ardbuck. Easy now. You don't want to scare him off? Oh, hey, what's up? I wasn't expecting anyone so early. You're the first one here. Well, if you're not ready, I, I could come back later. No, you'll get away. I, I, I mean, please, come inside. Happy birthday, big guy. You know, this is very nice of you, but it won't save you from my fantastic trap because... Here comes the line. You are the only present I need. Soup's on. Hold that up. I'm holding. Too cute, Teddy. What the? <laughs> I'm here for your birthday party, silly. Here's your present. Who invited you? He invited me. Cuckoo Croc. Hello, the party. Woohoo! Yeah, thanks, Aunt. 
So you invited him too. Very clever, Ant. But it's gonna take more than a crocodile and a rainbow-hugging bear to foil my plan. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, uh, happy birthday, Alar. Happy birthday! Ooh, happy birthday! Hey, pal, happy birthday! Oh. Don't be goat! Come on in. Last thing I wanted at my party was a party. There's so much to choose from. Mm mm mm. Oh look, look, look at that little slice of heaven over there. Should I eat this cake? Oh, should I eat this cake? Uh. Oh. I'll skip it. And I kept swirling around. Yeah. Oh, for a creepy guy, you sure know how to throw a great party. Look at Mockingbird Mike. He's cracking everybody up. Come on, Mike. Do cuckoo crack again. Hello, the party. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that sounded just like me. <laughs> you know I love to party. Hey, hey, what else you got, Mickey? Hey, what else you got, Mickey? Hey, that's not funny. I mean, I mean, I don't sound like that. Hey, that's not funny. I don't sound like that. <laughs> hey, I said stop it. Hey, I said stop it. Why, you little... Say we do this every weekend. You know what I say? No. Nope.